The 2019-2020 Penn State Hockey Senior Class did not get the celebration in the ending that they deserved. So hopefully they know how much they meant to Penn State. Every year the goal is to raise the bar of those who came before and that group is the measuring stick for Penn State Hockey. I think everybody knows that that class has just been so important to the, the culture of this program and also the winning because as freshmen they won the Big Ten Tournament Championship, as seniors they won the Big Ten Regular Season Championship and obviously they were poised to, uh, to make a long run in the NCAA Tournament which would have been wonderful to see as it turns out no one was able to see that but it doesn't negate how important they are to this program the championships and the winning that they that they were able to experience. Pavlicev though has it behind the goal for goal, stuffs it on, loose out front, wall and drive, he scores! Penn State leads! First ever Big Ten regular season championship. Winning is a byproduct of doing things right. They did things right and even the alumni that came back had, had really unsolicited mentioned that this class, they are Penn State hockey. They, they're very serious in the classroom. They're very serious about making themselves the best athletes they can be, uh, the, the healthiest they can be, and then, and then translating that to the ice, and they certainly do that. The standard is as high now as any program in the country, and as any at Penn State. Their legacy is that of champions, on and off the ice. Pavlicev, near circle, shot, score! Nikita Pavlicev, tie game! All right, rifles off of body! The first games of the season started out like, well, like it was 2020. There's Reedy the drive, scores! And then a turnover at neutral. Opportunity for Penn State. Kevin Wall walks it in and puts it in for Penn State. There were bright spots like Kevin Wall who started the campaign like a hurricane. No, I didn't really know what to expect coming in. In the beginning, I wasn't really playing up to my own personal standards and also standards for the team. Every game, just worried about if I'm going to get a point or if I'm going to score, if I'm going to get on the stat sheet. And I think that's just the wrong mentality to have going into games. I think after that, I really switched it to win every battle, be hard on the four check, block shots, and do all the other little things because Coach Grudowski preaches all the time. You do the little things and good things will happen for you. So I think once I actually truly bought into that, things started to play out the way I wanted them to. Kevin Wall. Sneaks it by Jack LaFontaine. There are a lot of new names to learn. But an answer for Penn State as Tim Doherty pokes it in. Jared West got at the end of a shift, so he defers. Quick shot. They score. Sarlo. They did not have a lot of time to gel. But Wall with a beautiful feed in front to McMenamin, and he puts it home. There's Limoges, and he pots one on a beautiful feed from Jimmy Dowd. My goodness. With four losses in a row on the road to start the season, there were plenty of excuses that Coach Godowski could have fallen back on. He did not. The team headed home to Pagula Ice Arena, where unfortunately they would not have the in-person support of the greatest student section in college hockey. they would face the number seven Michigan Wolverines. Televiti pressuring, goes across, score! Evan Bell makes it a one goal game. And even though they fought valiantly, the result of the first game was the same. This is when leaders prove their worth. When I was named captain, uh, that's, that was a fun phone call I had with Gads. He asked, do you have any reservations about being captain? And I was, I was kind of thinking about it all summer before that. I really want to be captain. I, I hope this works out, but it doesn't matter. I'll be a leader on the team either way. So when Coach Godowski called me and, and kind of asked that question, I was like, nope, no reservations, no questions. I'm ready. With a little more time together, the team was finding its identity. The staff's message was simple. Play Penn State hockey. But carrying out that message is difficult, and not everyone can do it. 
Telvidia bolts through center. Right to left, gains the Michigan zone. Telvidia near circle, shot, scores! Arna Telvidia, what a snipe! And it's 1-0 Penn State! 47 seconds in, top shelf! Oh my goodness! West to your line, Carlo on the left, lap on the right. Puffs it up in its own zone. Down low, Westcott gets the return feed, walks out front, fires, scores! Two zip Nittany Lions, what a start! Got the feed from Lampa at the end dasher, knifes a ton in the crease, and stuffs it home! Penn State was up two, but then quickly down by one. But something was different on this day. Dowd looks for an Alex, back to center point. It's Talvidia, slings it back down. Dowd skating into the high slot. Your wing wall, back door, Talvidia fires. He scores! Arna Talvidia with two tonight, and we've got a tie game at three. And the new faces were fighting for respect and earning it shift by shift from their coaches and teammates. The Nittany Lions have it, and they have numbers out through center. Flying to the Michigan line, Dow. Dow drops it back, Sarlo. Sarlo skates in, slot, shot, block, grabs it right back, back door, score! It's down! Jimmy Dow stuffs it in! And he has his first Penn State goal, and it ties it at four with 12.58 to go here in the second period. This was Penn State hockey. Fires down low, stuffed on, score! Alex Laboge on the redirect! Penn State back in front with a power play tally. By deflected backdoor, angled on fire, score! It's an onslaught of goals! 6-4, Penn State, 8.43 to go, second period. Backdoor, it is hammered in by Bobby Hampton, and he's got his first as an Indy Lion. Penn State, big rebound, McEachern out front, backdoor, Doherty a drive, save made by Portillo, Limoges tangled up, backhander, angled on, loose, scramble there, score! Chase McLean at the net mouth, his first as an Indy Lion. It was a game of firsts and a look at what this team might become. Thirty-five seconds left. Eight-five. Penn State dancing slot. McEachern back door. Fire. Score! What a night in Hockey Valley. Tim Doherty. The bottled frustrations of five losses in a row were uncorked with a nine-goal barrage as Penn State took a big step. And Penn State hockey, and it works out right. 40 plus shots. That's Penn State hockey. Nine goals is Penn State hockey, that too. Thank you. Uh, and also, you handled yourselves great at the end, which is also Penn State hockey. All right. 20th ranked Arizona State arrived in Hockey Valley to face a hungry group of Nittany Lions, a Penn State team that would continue to be a thorn in their side. We have to impose our game on them right now. And basically, it's playing fast and get to the net. That's sense of urgency imposing what we do. And it's not easy, and we understand that, but you're here to do that. So remember that. So if you look right off the hop, just like Coach Lindsay said, everybody has to do it. Okay? Okay, Sherline starts. Belzy. Who you got? Belzy, you and Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Oscar, your game. By now, the Nittany Lions were getting used to motivating themselves without the usual rabid fan base, and they jumped all over ASU in the first period, starting with the man advantage. Now McEachern pitches into the far ring, out front, tapped in, Lamoge! Penn State scores on the power play! What a feed by Tim Doherty, and Penn State has the 1-0 lead. Collegiate athletes have had to deal with a lot during the strange 2020 year, and this young group of Lions has sacrificed and learned on the fly during unprecedented times. Known for their offensive aggression and firepower, the grit and hit is often overlooked. They continued to buzz the Sun Devil net in the first period, and it would pay off when the Limoges line worked its magic again. Limoges near point, looks for an outlet, saucer slot, hammer, Darty score! Oh, what a goal that was! Two zip, Penn State! Oh. <laughs> 
After a nine-goal outburst against Michigan, Penn State was finding the back of the net again with ease. But Arizona State had just won three of four against Wisconsin and Notre Dame, and they were not going to back off easily. The Lions made them pay for every square foot of frozen real estate, but they managed to cut the lead in half in the second period. Deke Dangle, fire, score, top shelf, high glove on Oscar Audio. Wow. And it's a goal for Arizona State. It's Doogie, his first of the year, it's a 2-2 game with 16.40 to go here in the third period. And despite their best efforts, it would stay that way until overtime. Hey, remember, three on three here. Surviving overtime is always a total team effort. While you need someone to step up and score, there must be other heroics to get you to that point. A breakaway right to left. Komatsi's on in, gets a step, Deeks on in, fires, and a save made by Audio, using the stick to close the five hole in the backhand shot. Often it's easier to come from behind than to regroup after a lead slips away. But not for these guys. They were determined to be on top when it counts most at the end. To center is McEachern. Penn State back into the attacking zone. Three on one. He scores! <laughs> McEachern's game winner was the Lions' 50th shot on goal. They continue to be one of the most aggressive offenses in collegiate hockey, and it paid off with another win. Overtime game winner, Connor McEachern, top shelf blocker side. Penn State wins it. 3 2 with 63 seconds left in overtime. The teams had a day break before facing each other again. With hopes the stands could still be packed somewhere down the road, this was the last game of phase one of the schedule with no phase two plans released yet. This one started the opposite of Friday night with the Sun Devils exploding for three quick ones. Coach Guy Godowski used a timeout. The Lions desperately needed the next one, and they got it. Sarlo below the far circle, out front, fires, scores! Sarlo on the rebound, the initial try by Sam Sternshine out front. But the joy was short-lived as the Sun Devils got that one back in what was becoming a wild first period. Far circle down low, tipped on, and it squirts through the five hole on Solier. But before the period ended, the captain showed his leadership ability and got the Lions back in the game. Walks on in, fire save, Limoges rebound, he scores! Alex Limoges on the rebound, buries it into the awning net, and Penn State back with it too. Just as they had bounced back from a rough start to the season, Penn State bounced back from a rough start to the game. The Limoges goal seemed to relax everyone. They went to the room knowing there was plenty of hockey left with an opportunity to play better. They knew they could, and they would. Alvidia into the near circle, weaves out front, fires, scores! Snipe by Arna Talvidia! Penn State left no doubt about the direction of this game when Talvidia scored just 11 seconds into the second period. The momentum had swung, and you could feel it. It was just a matter of time before they tied it up. They played physical and worked for that chance. Loge gains the attacking end, tucks it top of the far circle. Slump all the way through, Doherty out front, slammed in! It's Limoges! Alex Limoges again, and he ties the game with a power play goal! 15.39 to go, second period. Alex Limoges is red hot. With eight total goals scored already, this looked like a lamplighter special, but suddenly it seemed impossible to beat either goalie. Every inch of ice was contested in one way, shape, or form. While there may have been no fans in the stands, this was hockey as Penn State always plays it. Passionate, intense, and ruggedly competitive. Morocco race for it into the Penn State end. Two on one. Morocco far circle diving burger. He kept it away. Sticked it away. And for the second straight game, they would go to overtime. Oh, 
and they would do it again. It was a weekend where the Nittany Lions reached down deep twice to pull out a win. And on a team with a melting pot roster of players from everywhere, a kid from Pennsylvania proved to be the hero this time. Go! Connor McMenamin got the Nittany Lions their third straight win. A young team going into the break, starting to find their identity. Victory, the reward for work, sacrifice, and commitment. The joy of the season in their hearts and on their faces. Okay.